Hello everyone, this is Melanie from Melanie B's Creative Studio and I am so happy to have you back with me today for another Shipper Sunday. If you guys have not subscribed already, be sure to go click the button to subscribe to my channel. The little button is over there in the right hand corner. Don't forget to click the notification bell down there by the title of this video and it will allow you to receive notifications every time I upload a new video. So what do I have in front of me today? Well this is another triptych. And this one I purchased as I do most of the kits that I bring to you. I don't want you guys to think that all of my shipper kits came from shipper because I probably purchased 30 kits from shipper <laughs> and maybe, uh, let's see, I think 10 came from them. So out of like 40 kits, I have 10 from them and the rest came from me. So I just recently got this one. I just pulled the plastic off and this one is fairly new, I believe, or it just came back into stock. I don't know. I saw it and I said, Vibrant Pretty Colors, Venice. This is one of those places that I would love to go at some point in my life. I don't know that I'll ever get to, but a girl can dream. This one's called Venice the city in the lagoon. And I mean, it's just gorgeous, gorgeous. So I wanted to jump right into this one and let's take a look because we've looked at triptychs before. I will explain a little bit as I'm going through it, but I just really wanna go in here and look at this palette. Okay, I'm not even looking at the paints. You see that? I'm trying to have so much restraint right now, it's hard, but. <laughs> All right, so of course with a triptych, we're gonna have three panels, the large ones in the middle. The large one is a 40 by 50 centimeter and each one of the side panels are going to flank it. We got our left, we have our right, and these two equal a 40 by 50 centimeter when they're put together. So that's how the triptych works. Chipper does have the aluminum frames that fit these triptychs. So I recommend you purchase the frames from Shipper because they are designed to fit their paintings. Now they only have the aluminum ones. And I'm gonna tell you as a former framing manager, the frames are very affordable, okay, with Shipper. And I used to frame with aluminum frames when I was the manager at Michaels. And I'm gonna tell you, you're gonna spend hundreds of dollars, even with a 70% coupon, it's just very expensive to frame, especially a triptych. You've got three different pieces here. They're gonna have to be custom sized because they are 40 by 50 centimeters for the large panel. And then these are what, um, let's see, 50 centimeter in length and 20 in width. So you're gonna have custom frames. You do not need the glass, but you do have to have custom aluminum frames made. So if you go and you price these out, just think about the pricing. So I wanna say that for the US dollars, these are gonna run you anywhere from about 60 to $70 for USD. But the bottom line is way cheaper to get it from shipper than it is to have them custom made. Just trust me on this. Now you might find other places online that you can get them done. I don't know, I haven't priced them. I'm just telling you from comparison pricing from being the manager and doing all the discounts and everything that when I get mine, I will get them from Shipper directly. They only have gold and silver, so your options may be limited there, but again, why can't you put your own finish on there? Just saying. All right, let's move on. I'm gonna look at paints. We've got our number stickers, our paintbrush, We've got our catalog. Oh my goodness. We have our instruction guide that I never read. Okay, and of course we have our reference guide, which is always important to us. We have our middle panel on the front and then our two side panel references on the back. Most importantly, we have our number sticker reference, which tells us how to label our paint pots. This is important for how we number in case we have additional paint pots with additional colors. Okay, pay attention to that when you number your paint pots. Very important. So let's take a look at these paints. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna flip them upside down really quickly. We're gonna take a close-up look. 
Actually, I'm kind of surprised because a lot of these are the more muted natural colors. And then we get over here and we have these beautiful purples and blues, like aqua and purple. And <laughs> okay, fabulous, fabulous palette though, fabulous. So I'm looking forward to going ahead and swatching these paints because it's all about the swatch. It's all about the swatch, the swatch, no canvas. Oh my God, okay. I haven't done that for a while and it's probably a good thing. Uh, okay, so you guys, I'm gonna swatch these paints. We're gonna come back, we're gonna take a closer look at the paints and we're gonna discuss how they swatched on a canvas swatch. I'm now printing my swatch guide on canvas paper. So it has the texture that is more similar to the shipper board. So that kind of gives us a better idea of how these will actually work when we put them on the board. Now I have been painting my shipper paintings with the flow technique. So I'm probably going to continue to do it that way. So when I paint these, I'm going to paint them with the regular method, but if any are transparent or translucent, it's probably not going to matter because I'm going to be doing the flow method and that is such a phenomenal technique. You really have no issues with translucent or transparent paints. I'll be right back. All right, now let's take a look at the Venice City Lagoon palette <sighs> after it's been swatched. Normally, this palette would have been like, no, look at all the yellows and the oranges and I would have been like, I'm scared, you know, greens. Most other paint companies, this kit would have scared the hell out of me. <laughs> I mean, let's just keep it real. <laughs> uh, there are only a few other companies that I'd have been like, oh yeah, yeah, I, I, I would buy it from them. But I'm never scared when I see a palette like this with a shipper, like I'm just like, yeah, sure, let me, let me go just jump right in there because if you're ever going to have <laughs> warm colors with a paint by number kit, the chances of having super translucent paints is slim, you know, because whatever they do to their paints is just phenomenal. Whatever they're doing is a mystery, and I would love to know that secret ingredient, but uh, obviously um, it's like the Krabby Patty secret ingredient on SpongeBob. <laughs> It's locked in a safe somewhere that nobody can get to it. And they are smart to do that because whatever they're doing, they need to keep doing because it is just, it's, imp it's incredible. Um, but moving on. So, uh, I mean, these aquas, look at these aqua blues, teals, turquoises, whatever you want to call those. They're phenomenal, delicious yumminess. I just want to lick these paints. Okay, here's my disclaimer. They're not edible. Okay, they're not edible. Keep them away from licking children, okay? Keep them away from, you know, no cats, no dogs, nothing. They are not literally edible, but they sure are visually yummy delicious. <laughs> I mean, look. <laughs> All right, I get so distracted. Instead of squirrel, it's like delicious paint. Now, 36 paints in this particular kit, which always makes me happy because the more colors, the more detail, the, you know, in your final outcome and the final project, which is always fantastic. That's what we want to see. But let's talk about opacity because I, you know, color, colors distract me. Now that I'm swatching on the inkjet printable canvas swatches, I am really getting a true picture of what these will look like on my actual painting. Now, I do want to mention, I'm painting these in the normal method with a regular flat brush like I would normally paint them. So if you ever see paints that are not absolutely 100% perfectly opaque, you can paint those with the flow method and just keep your huddle thin, it, it, you know, to match the rest of your painting. And that way you're getting a perfect opacity the first application. You're not having to go back over and add second and third layers. I've never done second, third layers on a shipper. I will paint the cell and go to the next cell with that color. And then as these dry, I will go back to that first one and just kind of put a little bit over the number. I like, I don't fill in the whole cell. And so I don't really classify that as a second layer. But now that I'm doing the flow method on my shipper paintings, 
I don't foresee me ever having to even do that again. So the only ones that I thought did not have maybe perfect coverage, and it's not necessarily its opacity, but maybe more of a streaky issue, was number five. And I have to kind of hold it out of the glare of the light because these satin finished paints are so amazing. Maybe 28, only because I didn't get great application on these two. So, you know, those might be ones that you have to kind of look ahead to. Having said that, those might be ones that you see a little streaking when you start to paint. 20 could be another one because I see it at an angle. But again, you guys, fabulous, fabulous palette, fabulous paints. I do Shipper Sunday because I'm absolutely in love with their paints and their just everything about them. If you purchase from Amazon from the links that I provide, you know, then, then I get affiliate money. And so I always appreciate that. But I bring you their kits because I love to share amazing products from the companies that I find that I love. So that is why I bring you Shipper Sunday. I no longer have any of their kits for collaboration. These are all my own kits that I've purchased out of my own pocket. And so I'm just bringing you these kits because they are phenomenal. I hope you guys agree when you try their kits. Now, I'm gonna tell you, they're always one-offs. You may get their kits and you may go, oh, I don't like their paints. Well, make sure you're stirring the paints. Make sure you're aware that they're very fluid for those of you who've never watched another shipper video that I brought you, you got to kind of go back to the beginning. You have to see the fluid paints. You have to be prepared. They're very liquidy, totally different than the thick creamy paints we get in normal paint by number kits, so on and so forth. So don't just jump right in after seeing like maybe this video and then be surprised. And then the people who are like, they're so expensive. You guys, it's the difference between buying a Mercedes and you know, a shit bet. I mean, I'm sorry, a shit bet. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> I snorted. <laughs> you, you see what I'm saying? <laughs> um, yeah, so, you, you know, you can buy one off AliExpress. Sometimes you get a, a really good kit off AliExpress, <laughs> but it's the difference between the cheapo, <laughs> they don't care about you kind of quality and the, the German engineering paint by number kit. And then you have some really great people and really great kits in between that are just amazing as well. So I don't want to throw any of the other kits and other companies under the bus at all because there's some really great companies that don't come from Germany, but you see what I'm saying. You know, there are the Cadillacs and <laughs> they're up here too with my, my German shippers. But then you've also got these over here, those who shall not be named. So anywho, I hope you love this piece. It is phenomenal and the palette was as impressive as always and I uh, wish I had a month just to paint and like uh, and just meditate just do nothing but nobody has that kind of time all right <laughs> you guys be sure to click the subscribe button down below hit that notification bell down beside the title to make sure that you get notified of all future videos be sure to join me on Patreon, Facebook group, TikTok, Instagram, Pinterest, and all of my social media so you don't miss anything. I will be having new clips coming up on TikTok, Instagram, and Pinterest for you on my Studio Reset. So be sure to follow me on those social media platforms. And you guys, thanks as always for watching. I will see you back soon.